So, um, here's the room. I, I appreciate you coming this late. Look, I, I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. I've never called someone like you before. Do I pay you now or after, after it's all over? After. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll do it for the rate we discussed on the phone. This should be a pretty straightforward job. Oh, good. A super. <laughs> Glad to hear that. You, um, you do this sort of thing all the time? Nine years. Third client this week. Client? An interesting way of putting it. I had no idea that your specialty services were in such Hey, the man. Well, Toronto's a big city, Mr. Pressman. Yes. Um, you promise you'll be discreet? Wouldn't be good for business if I wasn't. Figured much. I just want to make certain you understand. If word got out, it would look very bad. I'd like to get started now. Yes, yes, by all means. Um, do you need any protection? I have a box of rubber. Um... I come prepared. <laughs> of course. I'm sorry you brought all your accessories. Well, the room is all set for you to uh, do your thing. The last hockey pen as well. <laughs> you know. Please came and picked her up so she won't be a problem. And um, if you need anything, I'll be at the front desk. If you need anything. Anything at all, I'll be at the I'll be at the front desk. Rock and roll. crazy then, right? Yeah, well, what if I forgot my pills and just a few days off of the medication put me over the edge? I don't see any pill bottles laying around. Yeah, well, what if I'm terminally ill? And then there's always the broken heart scenario. 
Or one minute I'm calling home to Peter, Jamal, or Sven. And the next he's telling me he's moved on. And unbearably, I'm still here. Lucky me. You just can't wrap your head around it, can you, Dwayne? How someone who seemingly has everything going for her can throw her life away in a fleeting moment of despair while you thanklessly slave away cleaning up the blood and shit of the dead. It's a living. Yeah, but it's not living. That's what bothers you the most. It's that you're not even affected by what I've done. You're horrified by something much, much worse. You've spent the best part of your years seeing the very darkest things that people do to each other or themselves. And you don't feel anything inside. You're numb. In the end, it doesn't matter why I did it anyway. I suppose I just sat here for a while while the life drained out of my body. And then a moment of clarity, worried about what my family would think. And then I would cry for help and attention. So I stumbled. <laughs> this very bit. Crawled. <laughs> Into the other room. <laughs> oh, I'm making one last desperate attempt. To make contact with the outside world. Like, so despised. <laughs> Indeed! The room is spotless! I have to say, I am impressed. You know, if I were a guest at this hotel, I wouldn't have the first clue that someone had, well, you know, here. For services rendered. Another satisfied customer. You know, I hope we never have another incident such as this again. But if we do, you'll be the first person I call. <laughs> My goodness, another job already. Doesn't it get to you? That's just what I do. Mm -hmm. 